Now that picks up solid uh, waste, uh, any, anything in there? Yeah. What's the worst thing for a septic? Not pumping it. Not pumping it? Yeah. And is there a rule of thumb as far as how often you should pump a septic? No, no, the, the more often you do it, it's, it's better actually. So if you got like on a, a two year, three year, I don't know how long of a period you should you should go. I mean, it's, it's recommended every three to five years. Three to five, okay. Like, like this one, since it's an older system, I'd recommend to do it at least every three years. Okay. But if you do it more often, obviously, yeah, yeah it's better. Right, right. And it's affordable to pump it. To me, it's just cheap insurance. Yeah, and, and, it, and it is cheaper than, uh, than being on, on a sewer. Yeah. Because you pay, you know, 30 some dollars a month for the sewer. Yeah. Um, that's, you know, over 300, uh, what was it, like, um, yeah, like 350 at least a year. Yeah. And, uh, like, this is only a thousand gallons, so it's, for pumping it, it's only 275. Okay. But obviously, it just, if we're digging it up each time, then you pay for the, the labor. Right, right. You know, the, the smart thing to do is to install a riser. You know, it'll be like an expense one time, and then you don't. That's what I have in mind. I've got an extra one that comes out and they just drop it down and whoop, it's, it's over. Yeah. And what does it cost roughly? I won't hold you to it, but what, what's roughly to, to install a riser? For a riser on, on one like this, because we do, we do $75 a foot. Okay. And then 75 for the lid. Because... Um, so 150, could, 300, four, four, 500 bucks roughly? Was 225 for three feet. And then... You have two options for the lid. You could either get our lid, which is a plastic one that's uh, it's 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 um it's, it's um, heavy duty. So like if you're walking over it, it won't do anything. It, it'll be it'll hold. Oh, nice. So um so you have that option, or if this lid fits on that riser, because sometimes they don't fit on them. Okay. Sometimes they'll fall through. Um, but most of the time they should fit. So you could either have this same lid just right on top of that riser. Got it. And then you don't, you'll, you'll save the, the $75 for the lid. Cool. So it's, 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 it's those two options. So it's basically, well, if, if we do it at, at, uh, at three feet, which it'll leave it, what is it, like five inches or so below ground, then then it'll, the most you'll pay for the riser is 300 Okay. So it's just... Very good. Well, that's good to know. I can let my clients know when they have these types of questions. I mean, you, you could always find it cheaper if you like buy it yourself, you know. You but but the, the only problem with that is we we buy it like like in bulk, like a big right. Oh yeah, piece. yeah. You're getting so it wholesale. We might yeah, we might get a cheaper price for it. So, right. So they they might get it pretty close to what we pay for. It. Okay. So but but I don't know. I'm just kind of yeah. Throwing you know, it, it might be cheaper if they look into it and do it. But I don't awesome. know. Well, thank you so much.